Good morning to all you aesthetic athletes. Right now it's about 8.20. We gotta go do some cardio. It is May 19th, 2017, and it's time to get aesthetic. If you're new to this channel and you like my content, please subscribe. Be the first one to see my latest content by hitting the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now I just woke up, you guys kind of see I look really tired. Um, I'm gonna go do some cardio. I got 20 minutes to do today. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna be cutting it down to about 15. Probably sticking at 20, but we'll have to see. I gotta work hard, work hard, work hard, because today is eight days out. So, you know, I'm very, very close to the competition. Very, very excited, but very, very close. So, at the end of the day, I don't want to leave any stones unturned. I do not want to come in there with any regrets and it's gonna be a big competition for me and I hope, I'm hoping for the best. So, and the only way I'm gonna hope for the best is by putting the work in and giving it up my all. So, I gotta go do some cardio, <laughs> I gotta make breakfast after, and I gotta make my meals for the day. So just finished my fasted cardio. I did 17 minutes today because when you lose body fat, it's going to be all over. It's not just going to be um, your stomach or your chest. When you lose body fat, it's in every part of your body. So <clears throat> I always do abs after I work out. So I always found that worked best for me. Some people like working abs beforehand. For me personally, I found if you worked abs after your workout, you don't have to be so worried when it comes to your core when it when you work it out in the gym so that's why i wear a belt and it helps with tightening the waist and so on so on anyways i'm gonna go make some food right now i'm making breakfast and i'm making my meals uh one tip i'm gonna be showing you guys just in a sec here is to make your chicken beforehand whatever meat it is it's good to make meat beforehand because it takes a really long time to cook and then uh, what i do now is i just literally make the vegetables with my eggs obviously separate and then since the chicken's already made separate them into containers put the vegetables in they're good to go eggs will be done coffee will be set ready to go now let's go ahead on and do all that right now we got ourselves four eggs here ready to cook with some butter spray on it we had some butter spray on our veggies for today these are all mixed frozen veggies make it simple and easy I don't want to burn myself <laughs> and we got here see we're figuring everything on high just makes things simple we got here some coffee ready to go. Not yet, but we are gonna add some coffee mix, which we are gonna be adding some Maxwell House, just original roast coffee. And that'll be pretty much it. I gotta prepare the meals and I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay, so we got all three meals here prepared already. We got the chicken, then we gotta put the vegetables in. Um, it makes it so much simpler, guys. If you literally just make the chicken beforehand for the next like two days after, you don't wanna make it too, too long. Um, because they will go bad. You cook something and you don't eat it, it will go bad. So, that's about for, I got today, I made, okay, I made chicken yesterday um, for the next three days, if that makes sense. And so this is the second day and the third day will be tomorrow. Then I got to remake some more chicken. But anyways, I mean, it makes things so much simpler, so much smoother, quicker, because when you do meal prep, that's the last thing you want to do is take forever to do meal prep, even though it may taste better, but to take forever when you have other things, other priorities, other plans, whatever it may be, a job, uh, school. Keep in mind, time is everything. So I'm gonna go check on my eggs because they look like they're almost ready. Boom! Eggs, coffee, four eggs, some salt, coffee. Today is gonna be my last day of high sodium intake. My hair looks like a mess. Oh, I look funny. Anyways, my sodium intake is now gonna be just eggs in the morning with salt. Um, before, I've been using this guy, which I'm gonna be using today, which I'm actually really excited. Frank's, oh no, the screen. Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This has almost, pretty much zero calories. Yeah, zero calories. And just lots and lots of sodium. So I'm looking really like, like I'm cut down, but my skin and my water, and my, my skin, my water, my skin, my body is holding onto lots of water. So I'm not looking as shredded as I should be or as vascular because I've been overdoing the sodium. Um, now that I'm going to be tapering it down, doing some more cardio on the weekend here with hockey, 
uh, I think I'm gonna be looking perfect. Um, last week I did that and I was looking really good almost every single day. So this is what I'm gonna be doing now, probably all the way till the Thursday of next week. If not, uh, I might be cutting sodium completely on the Thursday or the Friday, we'll have to see. Um, but as far as I know, I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, low sodium, not too, too high, still have sodium. Um, and we're gonna be increasing the water tomorrow, so I'm gonna be excited for that. Lots and lots, lots of water. Uh, BCAs are regular when I do fasted cardio, and that's gonna be it for breakfast. Now we'll see you guys in the next clip. benefit having two screens currently working on here some of the superficial back lines Let's zoom in a bit there superficial back line front line you know all the muscles that associated with it this is just for homework yeah I got quite a bit I'm always doing homework right now guys also watching some furious Pete that's what I'm working on right now just before I head to the gym I had one of my meals but I do want to show you guys what I'm eating today um, I think I might just completely cut out the red Frank's Red Hot Sauce, even though today is my technically like my last day I could use it. I might just have a couple like like treats, for instance, uh, what was that? Cucumber. Cucumber with uh, some salt or a little bit of fruit, maybe a cup of fruit. Cup of, when I say cup of fruit, I mean cup of berries, that's all I got really. Um, maybe an orange, I'll have to see. I don't want to overdo it because the carbs right now I'm trying to deplete myself uh, starting tomorrow I'm gonna to be increasing water a lot even though I got work I gotta increase water a lot so, uh, Sunday as well and Monday as well I believe Tuesday I'll start tapering down the water slowly but surely well, the way I'm gonna be uh, measuring how much water I take in is I got this guy I got this bottle now I'm gonna make sure so for instance I'm not sure exactly just yet how much water I'm taking. I would have to, I'm going to calculate everything for peak week starting today. Before the end of the day, I'm going to make sure I got my peak week written down. But let's say I want to taper down water. The first day would be four days. Next day would be three days. Three days? I mean, four bottles, three bottles, two bottles. And as the days go on, um, slowly uh, bring that water down. I'm not going to completely remove water because your body is made out of a lot of water. I think it was 95 percent or something but a lot of water is what your body is made out of and if you deplete that your muscles will look flat as well so don't completely deplete water um, maybe you could minimize it a bit just before you go on stage but depleting water completely will make you look flat um, when you are carving up carbs require water uh, <laughs> and there's more and more and more I could go into that but anyways that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I gotta go to the gym soon. I gotta study more. I got lots coming up, guys. Messy bed. Yeah, lots and lots to do. Okay, so I just finished the gym. Finally home. Gotta make a protein shake. Gotta get my meal warmed up. Got some chicken, vegetables. Gonna have a small protein shake. Nothing crazy right now, not till later on. Maybe I'll add, actually no, I'll have a bigger protein shake now. Smaller one later. Uh, make it low calories, almond milk only, with some protein, 30 calories per cup of almond milk. I always say that it's so, so good when it comes to calories. Okay, so let's get that first while we're at it, okay? All right, so we got the meals here. Now we need the almond milk. Where's the almond milk? Down here. Oh, I hope it's enough. Oh, there's like nothing left. I should have bought some. Ah. Damn, I wish I might need to get some right now. Anyways, let's open up this meal. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got ourselves our chicken and mixed veggies. They look slightly burnt, but I like it when it's kind of like a smoky texture, smoky flavor. That's just me. You guys don't have to like the same thing. That's what I eat. Anyways, that's going to be the meal. I'm going to have that with a protein shake. Just a quick physique update, a little bit better lighting here, at least I think so, kinda. Maybe I should turn off that light. Anyways, let's see here. Not too bad. Being high sodium. And 
zoom in a bit, maybe it's a little better. Yeah, I feel really flat right now. Like even you can see my skin, like I know I don't have much fat, but like since I am doing competition, I'm really picky as to how I look, what I'm eating, what my body, how my body's reacting. See like this is not much fat, but it looks really like nothing's there. So and I know I'm not flexing right now, and if I do flex, you know, there's gonna be something. But I, the thing is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get shredded, I'm trying to win. So, thing is, I'm gonna cut the sodium, bring my A game, and after this weekend, after the hockey, I'm gonna look aesthetic. And hopefully I am, hopefully. But I'm putting the work in, and that's the main thing. You gotta put the work in, and that's the only way you'll see results. So, here's just a little snack that I'm having. I'm having one sweet bell pepper. And we're having here some cucumbers with some salt, not too much, but I am having a little bit of salt today. So we got here, I was craving something, so we got some noodles. This is one pack of noodles, about 25 grams of carbs, um, 200 calories. So I diluted it a bit by adding a lot more water than necessary. Um, it's high in sodium, so that's the main thing and the main problem. Other than that, it's not too, too bad. 25 carbs isn't going to ruin my diet. Later on, I'll be having something else like a protein shake and one of my meals. But other than that, that'll be my, I can't even talk, that'll be my meals for the day. And I'll explain later, just towards the end of this vlog, exactly what I ate the entire day. Okay, so let's go over what we ate today. <clears throat> this morning we had four eggs with a cup, or I'd say two cups of coffee, black coffee. No additives, nothing extra. Then we had one meal. Uh, that meal consisted of hot sauce, which had zero calories, so don't worry about that. Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Um, after that, we had another meal. Then, and with that meal, we that was after the workout. We did not have anything on it, anything extra. Before the workout, though, I did have one rice cake with peanut butter on it. Um, this is all natural peanut butter, not too, too much. So I'd say that's roughly a good 100 calories right there. Um, next thing, we had a cucumber one really big cucumber and a bell pepper as well we did have oh we had one more thing um we oh yeah we had a no we didn't have a protein shake did we no we had a protein shake we had about half a protein shake so you could say that's roughly about i'd say 150 calories now we also had my last meal and we had noodles so the noodles you know brought the calories on noodles about 200 calories um, and the last meal would add on to that for one chicken breast and mixed veggies. But other than that, that's all I ate. And, um, that's my macros for the day. That's exactly what I ate for the entire day. If you guys want to try that yourself, it's not easy. But, um, I kind of overdid it when I added the, um, when I added, I don't know, I keep forgetting I'm carb depleted. Uh, when I added the, uh, noodles. So, Hopefully that didn't affect too too much, but I'm feeling good. I feel like I still look really good. So um, you guys will definitely see a nice package tomorrow. Um, I'll be posting that probably a little bit later because I want to be able to like show you guys the best version of myself. Meaning like early in the morning sometimes isn't the best because I'm really like didn't eat anything, really drain, might be doing cardio. I'm not late late at night because then I just ate everything right so I'll figure out a time to record it and I'm gonna record it finally with my shorts because um, I did not do that recently and that's what I think you guys want to see I think you guys want to see the shorts that I'm using and I think you guys want to see me posing in them I guess um, I think they look really good I'm really happy with them and uh, definitely you know it was very expensive I don't deny that very very expensive but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. I gave 110% to this prep and there's still a couple days left. So it's not over. The journey's not over. We're still going. We're still attacking it. And every single day matters right now um, with not just this competition, but other things outside of the competition that I do have going on. So it's going to make it tough, but enjoy the hard stuff, guys. Enjoy the grind. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic bra.